Well, uh, blessed people, the Lord Jehovah Elohim has spoken with me. The Lord spoke with me this past night and also just about less than an hour ago, probably 20, 30 minutes ago. The Lord Jehovah Yahweh, Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord, the commander of the heavenly armies, the mighty God of Israel, the one that never fails, he must always win, he is the king, the Lord Jehovah, your creator, the father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lord Elohim, he has spoken with me this past night. Now, there is going to be a serious war break out in the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC Congo. The Lord has spoken not once now. This is the second time. And this night he took me to that nation, and I saw soldiers, some of them, as many as six, standing on a motorbike, a motorcycle, with guns ready. They are roaming around. People are running. The Lord put me in there. I was running also. You know the way the Lord speaks with his two dreadful prophets? He normally puts them in there that they may feel the pain, they may feel the trouble, they may feel the judgment, and in the process they may communicate it exactly to the greater detail when transmitting the instruction of the Lord. So it is in the same breath, the same token, the Lord took me to DRC Congo this past night, and he showed me people running, the army jeeps were driving this side, chasing people. The guns, gunfire was in the air. So there is going to be a serious distress in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, the people of Congo, Kinshasa, DRC Congo, they very well know who the two mightiest prophets of the Lord are. They know that very, very well. And they know who visited with them in Kinshasa, when I brought the message of repentance to that country and even met their president, I even met the leader of the nation and talked to each of the leaders there, including the president of that country. And I said, this nation needs to observe a national day of repentance and reconciliation. And I told the people of DRC, including their leader, that in the failure to do so, the judgment of the Lord will hit this land. Why? Because I have already come to announce the coming of the Messiah. So they know the two prophets very well in the DRC. When I brought the message of repentance to Kinshasa, the cripples walked, the blind eyes opened, the deaf ears heard, and it was such a shocking visitation. The anointing was so big, big bang, it was so powerful, it with a big bang. And the governor, their governor of that city was sitting there. And they were very shocked. They were absolutely very shocked at the level of anointing. Instant, at one single decree, blind eyes opened, cripples were walking, deaf, everything, people throwing the invalid legs and all this. So they know that repentance has been brought to that land by the two dreadful prophets of the Lord. And they know exactly who the two tremendous prophets of the Lord are. The glory they behold, their glory, that God has placed on them. And the instruction was that they repent and bring forth a national reconciliation in the entire land. And every time the Lord sends these prophets to you or speaks to you through the radio like this, there is always a reason. The Lord has seen in front has seen that in front is bad. So repentance is always good. So now I have seen that in their failure to have a national repentance, to hold it, their failure to do so, I have seen the judgment of the Lord strike them very severely. I've seen the soldiers with guns, people are running, even six soldiers standing on a motorbike, it was such a picture, with guns ready, shooting as the cyclist is riding, the jeeps running, people running through the villages, through the trees, it's very shocking. So the Lord is calling on the nation of the RC Congo to repent and return to Christ Jesus the Lord and turn away from witchcraft. 
and turn away from this immorality of Lingala music that only spreads immorality and death. Lingala, in Lingala artists, immorality, exporting, dancing, immoral dancing, immoral songs that do not glorify the Lord Jehovah, their creator. So the Lord is now asking the nation of DRC Congo, together with their president and the entire church, the entire land, to observe a national day of repentance, that he may bring a new breeze, he may heal the land and deliver that nation and prepare that nation for the glorious coming of the Messiah, that he may prepare the hearts of men and women in that land, children, he may prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah, the anointed way in the nation of the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC.